really in boxing, you can have all the connections, but you need not just all the connections. You need the connections at the right moment. And right now, I'm not sure that Eddie Hearn has the right connections at the right moment for Shakur Stevenson. Welcome everyone to Boxing Scene's Top Stories, only on Pro Box TV, your boxing channel. I am George D. Metellus. Don't forget the Pro Box TV app has everything you need to experience Pro Box TV, including a new chat function that will allow you to chat live with our champions during our live events here on your boxing channel. Speaking of the champions, we got the fighting collegian Chris Algieri, and we got the magic man. I got to say it like that, the magic man. Paul Lick Malinaji here on Top Stories. Well, the most prized free agent in boxing has signed with a promoter as Shakur Stevenson has officially inked a two-fight deal with Eddie Hearn and Matchroom Productions, or promotions, I should say, and their first fight October 12th with Joe Cordina. Now, the top three that Shakur Stevenson is listed to fight is going to be Cordina and Zepeda, and then the third one, Desired Fights, I should say, is going to be Tank Davis, but it's only a two-fight deal with Matchroom Promotions. All right, Pauly, what do you make of Shakur Stevenson signing this deal with Matchroom? Um, I guess we'll see. I mean, you know, Eddie Hearn has a way of being able to promise things. Uh, will he deliver them? I'm not sure. You know, what can you promise Shakur Stevenson that, that wasn't promised by top rank? Can you promise him more money? Can you promise him the bigger fights? Do you have access to the bigger fights? He may have access somewhat to Zepeda, being that he's on the same network. But Zepeda is still a Golden Boy fighter. You know, so it's it's still a difficult uh, fight to make because you're putting Golden Boy, one of Golden Boy's Golden Boys, uh, you know, no pun intended, one of Golden Boy's Golden Boys at risk against Shakur without Golden Boy really being able to get any options. It's tough to do. It's, it's tough for a promoter to really accept, even if you're sharing the network with uh, with the guy. Um, then as far as Tank Davis is concerned, you know, it's it's not on the same network. So it's, it's there's a lot of things that that, you know, you're 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 bringing up to the table here. And if we judge it based on you know, some of the other fighters that he's had, so for some guys he's been able to deliver, for some guys he hasn't been able to deliver big fights. It, it Really, in boxing, you can have all the connections, but you need not just all the connections, you need the connections at the right moment. And right now, I'm not sure that Eddie Hearn has the right connections at the right moment for Shakur Stevenson. Honestly, I don't know who does, because even having the right connections, the guys that own Zepeda and the guys that own Tank Davis... They, they see it, they feel like even if they make that fight and you even if you would get options on a Shakur, there's more star power with Zepeda and Davis. And and so they, I don't even think they would want Shakur to beat their guys even if they signed him. So, you know, it, Eddie, Eddie's making a fuss here. And you know what? I hope Shakur gets all the big fights. But again, the other fighters that are in this mix over here are not with as the stable Eddie's in right now. I mean, what can Eddie do at lightweight with Shakur that he's not already really pretty much been doing at top rank. Yeah, champ, I agree. In terms of what's what's actually promised and what is actually deliverable are, are and seems to be in two different worlds in terms of what's going on. And um, when it comes to the, these deals being being constructed by by Eddie Hearn. But if you really look at this, the writing was on the wall for this this matchup to happen between Shakur Stevenson and Eddie Hearn. And I'm talking about the matchup between fighter and promoter, not, not fight matchup. Um, well, number one, you, you saw that Ennis signs with with Eddie Hearn, who was a guy super talented who's had a lot of trouble getting fights. Signs with Eddie. There's a big rollout for the the the, the, the return of Jeron Ennis. He fights in his hometown, gets a lot of uh, attention. Main event on a on a on a DAZN card. Okay, that's that's that that looks good. You get guys like Shakur Stevenson look at that like, all right, I, w I want that kind of attention. I wasn't getting that on top rank. I wasn't feeling the love. I want, I want that kind of love. I want that kind of attention. I want movies being done about me leading up to the fight, um, promoted the way that, that a, a, a superstar of that caliber should be. But can he secure the fights that really matter, the fights that that, that so-and-so top rank could not? Because that was the main gripe from Shakur, right, was that, that top rank could not get him the big fights. Can Eddie be the guy who gets in the big fights, or is Eddie just the guy that talked at the negotiating table into making everyone think that they can get those big fights? Because like you said, champ, you know, the 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 the, the two fight deal that there is, the second fight being Zapata, Zapata's with Golden Boy. Eddie and Golden Boy, I don't know how many fights they've made in recent years, but Golden Boy and 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 Bob, Oscar and Bob make fights. They can they they can do some crossover fights. So it's probably easier to make that fight through there. Um, but anytime you got fighters in, in opposite promotional, promotional situations, it's hard to make these fights. Is Eddie that guy who can kind of jump between the, over the lines? 
to a degree he is because we're now we're talking about Turkey Al-Sheikh and it seems that Eddie Hearn has a very tight connection with Turkey and they're doing a lot of fights together. So potentially you could get that crossover appeal. So I'm, I'm not that surprised. Oh, and on top of it, they announced he's fighting Cordina a couple of days ago. It's like, well, Cordina's with Eddie. So it kind of makes sense that your core is now signing with Eddie. It's like, oh, that should have been, that should have been tipped your hat right there. It's like, oh, okay. He's going, he's going with Eddie. Um, so, but he has a two fight deal. We'll see what, what Eddie can actually deliver on the things promised. But is it possible? Yeah, it is possible. But I'm with you, champ. I want Shakur to fight all of these guys, all the top fights, and make all the money in the world uh, because I, I think he's that level of talent. Um, now, let's just see if Eddie can deliver it because with Jerron Ennis, he certainly hasn't yet. Yeah, he had that nice rollout. He brought him home. He did all the, the lead up and marketing, but he hasn't gotten him the name Fighters, which is exactly what Shakur Stevenson wants. It'll be interesting to see what happens between Eddie Hearn and Shakur Stevenson and if eventually we'll get any kind of unified champion at lightweight it's going to be quite an interesting eddie hearn has a lot of work to do when it comes to promoting shakur stevenson in that two fight deal well we'd like to remind you here on boxing scene top stories that you can scan the qr code download the pro box tv app where apps are available because on the pro box tv app you can watch the best live fight series in all of boxing wednesday night fights i'm george dimatellis thank you for watching boxing scenes top stories wednesday night fights Dynamite action on Wednesday Night Fights every other Wednesday on your boxing channel. Coming up on your next Wednesday Night Fights, September 11th, rising Guatemalan star Lester Martinez puts his O on the line against fellow undefeated warrior Joe Sean, Sean Time James. Live from the Pro Box Event Center in Plant City. Get your tickets at ProBoxTV.com or take your chances at the door. Wednesday Night Fights. For more ProBox TV, scan the QR code on the screen or go to the App Store and Google Play. ProBox TV, your boxing channel.